Welcome to our lesson about in-place mates. First, let's change the color of our components to make it easier to distinguish them in the graphic area. Let's make this green. When we created the seal, SolidWorks created an in-place mate. When I try to edit that mate, SolidWorks gives me a warning message. It lets me know I can't replace an in-place mate with the Mate Entities tool. Let's click OK to exit the warning message. And let's cancel out of the Mates command. Let's right-click and select Delete to get rid of the in-place mate. Do we really want to? Yes. Now SolidWorks gives me a warning message. In a nutshell, if I delete the in-place mate, some external references might get messed up because the part is no longer positioned relative to the assembly. Now when we try to edit the sketch, SolidWorks gives me a warning message. Since this part isn't fixed in space, we might have some trouble. Let's click OK. And as you can see, the geometry no longer has relations or dimensions. Let's accept and exit. See how we're freely able to drag this part? Let's activate the Mate command. Select this edge and this edge. Click Accept. Now in the Mates folder, we've got a coincident mate. When I mouse over its node, it's highlighted in the graphic area. I can still grab and drag it and move it around, rotate it. Let's deselect everything by clicking in blank space. Activate the Mate command again. Select this edge and this edge. And click Accept. Now our part is fully defined. If I right-click and suppress one of the constraints, the status bar tells me that my assembly is underdefined. A minus symbol displays next to the part node name in the design tree. And this concludes our lesson about in-place mates.